Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see here behind me, <clears throat> we've bought another water stove. Well, we didn't buy this one actually. Uh, so my father-in-law, I've mentioned before, has a propane route and he picked up a new customer and the lady had just bought the property. It had a real big barn on it and she, uh, it had some pasture land. So she was gonna uh, board horses and she decided to go with propane. The, the barn has living quarters and she's gonna live there. But the uh, previous owner was heating with this Taylor water stove and uh, she decided she didn't wanna go that route. But uh, he asked her what she was going to do with the water stove. And she said, if I could find somebody to move it, they can have it. So he called me and I said, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Shouldn't be that hard. So I told him, I said, let's just load up the 4610. The, uh, so let's just load up the uh, 4610 Ford tractor here. And uh, we'll take it up there and then we can, this was in, you know, where it was in a building. We was able to just take a uh, chain where it's sitting on these skids. And we pulled it out of the building. Then we uh, come in here with the, with the forks under this, this uh, piece of channel iron and that piece over there. And I thought, yeah, you know, you get all the water out of it and we'll just lift it right up and put it right on the trailer. But uh, we put the forks under there and trying to keep it level and raise it up. <clears throat> the 4610 would get it about two to two and a half feet off the ground. And I said, well, that should be all right. We'll, uh, I'll just, we'll just load it up sideways like this because as long as it is, that and the tractor wasn't going to fit on the gooseneck to 24 feet. So I said, I'll just drive it up on uh, up on the uh, trailer with it on the forks and I didn't have any weight on the back of the tractor at all so we were parked on uh, an asphalt driveway and the 4610 with this on the front and I would hit the ramps and the uh, back tires would start spinning it wouldn't even start up on the ramps so then it wasn't, you know, there I am, it won't lift it high enough to get it up on a trailer. So ended up, I got turned around and got uh, sideways to the trailer and rolled the forks back and, you know, tilted the uh, stove over to the back of the loader and I was able to tilt it back enough to where I could set half of it up on the, this half up on the trailer. And then, you know, I was taking some of the weight off the fork so I could kind of just come up with it like this and scoot it up on there. And then we pushed it around with the tractor. And boy, was I wrong. It was a lot heavier than I thought it was. So, but yeah, we got it up on there and, and shoved it up to the front of the gooseneck. And she gave us a few other things too that she wanted it moved out of her way. She was needing hay storage and she had these big, uh, like, uh, 30 or 40 feet these big dumpsters you can rent where they uh, bring to you like like uh, job site dumpsters and she was filling them things up she had she had filled up about three of them i think is what she said and we seen a few things there that we asked her about and she said please take it get it out of my way i would appreciate it's it. it's a uh, taylor model t 750 and i'm not sure I'll look it up and put it across the bottom of the screen, uh, what the gallons is on it. <clears throat> but when I first saw it, I thought that the firebox would go all the way to the back. And I thought, how in the world do you get wood in there that long? <clears throat> but when you open it up, which is, it still has a humongous firebox, but uh, that's a lot more it's more manageable but now this water stove i had never seen a taylor but i had heard of uh the taylor water stoves and they've got these uh i don't know if they're called baffles or or flues or 
I'm not really not sure what those are called, but it's those tubes run all the way through the water tank. <clears throat> and they come out right here and you've got this I've been working on cleaning it out but you got this plate right here that goes over and seals the back of the stove right here <clears throat> so basically your smoke will come through the water tank right here into this chamber and then it goes back out through this rectangle uh, chamber I'm not sure what it's called but, uh, and it there's a clean out right here which this little plate right here goes in here but uh anyway you can see it comes from the back to here and then it goes straight out the top so I understand how the how this is efficient in heat transfer because it's running the smoke which is hot through those flues or baffles to the back and then it runs it again through the water tank and then out the top so there's a lot of heat transfer involved right there but I would say that the downfall especially from where I've been trying to chip all this mess out would be clogging up with creosote because that's just the way a water stove works. It shuts it down and it just smolders. And then when it's smoldering, you get all that smoke built up and it just forms creosote on everything. Uh, which with like the hardy water stove, it's not an issue because once it fires back up, and it gets to burning hard it'll burn all that creosote off of it but um so yeah i just thought i would uh share this thing with you it's a beast i'm not I hadn't i've never really seen one so uh this door is massive it feels like it weighs about 300 pounds i don't guess it does but it's got the force draft right here thermostat controlled so it'll it blows in right here and and uh gets the fire going <clears throat> and it come with some of these tools like i think this one and maybe this one and this came with the stove i don't know if this hook right here did or not but uh it may have but uh he had made i think he yeah he made this tool this looks like a scaffolding brace but he welded this little cutter on it right here and it fits perfect right in that hole so that's kind of what i've been doing just running that in there and trying to uh, chip all that creosote out of there but it's huge <clears throat> I'm not gonna hook it up uh, I just wanted to share it with y'all and hadn't really seen seen a lot of these stoves so just thought I'd share it with you and uh, I'm gonna clean this thing up good and make sure everything works and uh, make sure it's not leaking i'll fill it up with water and shut all the valves off make sure it's not leaking and then we'll cut the pump on and see if it uh will pump water but yeah we'll get it in good working order and we'll pass it on to somebody else and let somebody else uh hook this thing up so guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you hadn't already, go down and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.